the weather was nice, calm, Hello, YouTube. and uh, uh, it was really a perfect yeah. day. But Happy that would soon change. Later that afternoon, Chris called his wife Ashley to let her know a tornado had touched down. It kept getting bigger and bigger, and uh, you know we kept hearing about it being you know a mile wide, and it was um, F5 winds. And then I realized that it was likely going to hit or be very near um, to the girls' daycare. 45 minutes away from Moore, Ashley knew there was no time to collect her girls and take them to safety. I was definitely the most difficult moment I've ever had in my life was realizing that, you know, knew what they were doing and I had to trust that it was going to be okay. And I know Riley was really scared, but her teacher Paige started taking pictures just to kind of take her mind off of it. When the tornado finally lifted, the Soodles raced to the daycare center through total devastation. Chris was first to arrive. There was debris everywhere. The roof was half ripped off. Trees were down. It was unbelievable just to see and knowing that my girls were sitting mere feet from all this stuff. Despite the damage, Riley, Britton, and everyone who sheltered in that safe room emerged injury free. Just joy, just pure joy. I got the call from him and you know as soon as I answered the phone he said, I got them, they're okay. The Soodle's daughters are still enrolled at the daycare center, one of the small number that have voluntarily installed a storm shelter. The safe room that they provided saved these kids' life, and we are so thankful for that every day. Let's try this again. What do is drag. Instead of mail. I'm telling everyone my vacation photos. I'm saving a ton of time by posting them to my wall. Ooh, I like that one. It's so quick. It's just like my car insurance. I save 15% in just 15 minutes. I save more than that in half the time. I unfriend you. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. There you go. Now it's starting to work. Now you're looking at my pictures now. Imagine yeah, being directly a, uh, beneath a monster said, tornado Jacob. as it moves overhead. This is yeah, one I'm person's experience from that EF5 tornado, tornado that struck thing. Moore, Oklahoma. from Jacob Brown. I'm telling you, it was super easy. I don't know. I saved hundreds on my car insurance. The Hong Kong what? architecture firm hundreds. Ten Design what? has come you up with a tornado a Do I look house, like I'm smiling? One that retracts into what? the ground when threatened by a potential natural disaster. Here's Seriously? Ted Givens, a design partner at the firm, on how the idea came about. It kind of grew out of a suburb that was based around the car, and then it morphed into this idea of, of a house that's on hydraulics. So when a storm comes, it, it goes down into the ground and gets out of harm's way. So with a very simple hydraulic lift, take a, a fairly simple house, drop it, cover it, it becomes wind and floodproof and, and fireproof as well. The main thing you can do with storms is just get out of harm's way. So by actually burying the house in the ground during a storm, that's the best thing you can do. 
could be within a couple of years. There's one Chinese manufacturer that's actually built a few prototypes of his own. He's doing these kind of steel boxes, so we're trying to hybridize that into something together. And they were interested in trying to actually fit something into Japan to be tsunami proof. The latest prototype design includes 900 square feet of space with an additional 400 square feet below ground for gardens and storage space. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel. Meet Karen and Roger Hill, the first couple of storm chasing. For this daring duo, chasing isn't just their passion, it's their livelihood. As operators of Silver Lining Tours, one of the biggest commercial chase groups in the country. I don't think anybody knew what the movie Twister would do to, uh, to the storm chasing industry and, and how many people uh, would, would come out and chase as a result of it. But it, it totally surprised me to see that, that many chasers out today. Clients come from all over, like Hannah from Philadelphia. I don't even care if we don't see a tornado for three days, four days, five days. I'm just so excited to be here with Roger Hill. And Raymond, who came all the way from New Zealand. Two weeks prior to going to the States, we had a small tornado, an F1 in Albany, north of Auckland. With more than 600 tornado intercepts and countless hail core punches, Roger has a knack for being in the right place. was more than enough to impress these weather enthusiasts. I, we didn't really get to see a tornado, but what I saw was exciting. Just amazing, Mother Nature. There's just so much that's involved and so, you know, the opportunity for, uh, for a storm like this to pop up is uh, just so slim. So many things have to be together for that to happen. And for Silver Lining Tours, that's what it's all about. I love seeing the look on their face. It's just like they're in total awe and then you know when they're hooked is when they just like get that tear in their eye or just that certain look. They're like, oh my gosh, yeah, it, it, it's pretty cool seeing it. I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis. There's no time to waste. Right now, you have to get to your shelter. Just as meteorologist Mike Bettis was sending out that urgent warning, the woman in this house was snapping a pic for Facebook. My husband goes, we need to go now. And I had just hit post right as, right as we left. Kelly Gatz had no idea the twister was taking a turn, getting ready to wipe out her home. And the shelters was in the garage around the other side of my car. After a deadly tornado over a decade ago, the Gatz family decided they needed a shelter, an investment that paid off. When we built a house, we had it put in with a slab and it was probably about, it was about $2,500. From the outside, this metal storm shelter doesn't look very comfortable. From the inside, let me tell you, it definitely is not, but five people were in here with four dogs, and they all survived because of this. Keep going if you can. Everybody duck down. Everybody duck down. The same power that lifted our tornado hunt vehicle 30 feet into the air. It was going north, and before we knew it, it was here. Also levitated Kelly Gatz. She exited the shelter thinking the danger had passed. It had not. I just started floating up. I felt like my I was totally weightless, it yeah, seemed it like. Fast. I just started floating up. Her husband pulled his wife out of the air and back into that $2,500 shelter. Underneath the house, it's gone. They will rebuild here in tornado ravaged Oklahoma. <laughs> Everywhere has an axe of God. I don't right. know how you can avoid That's them. That's bad. Really. So but, I, mean, it's, it's, I don't know how you can avoid the weather. Good. So, I mean, you know, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Yeah.